All right, so we're back with the only game where you can engineer a human and come out with a lethargic, overweight, divorced DJ with a pituitary gland problem. It's species. In the last episode, we managed to evolve Donald Trump in, like, the fifth year of the generation. I think that was a pretty good advancement in human civilization as it pertains to their inevitable extinction on the tiny continent of Florida that we had made. But someone asked in the comments section, Hey, Gray, could you genetically engineer a dinosaur? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we could. Well, hold on. Let me, let me hold on a second. I'm going to genetically engineer a dinosaur, and we're probably going to end up with, like, a depressed high school dropout dinosaur that drinks, like, a 24-pack of Natty Light a day or something. Anyway. All right. Uh, I guess today's genetic mutations are going to take place on this oversized piece of cinnamon toast crunch. Let's go ahead and do it. First things first, I only need a couple of you guys, so uh, everyone else is getting the axe. All right, now we need a volunteer for someone's genetics to scramble around with. It's not really a choice. It's kind of like American Airlines style. Like you're either gonna do it or we'll beat you until you consent. So you're gonna be it. Alrighty, a dinosaur. This is what we're starting with. Again, I keep trying to find a way to describe this, but it's basically like like a brown apple mating with a brown wiggling loaf of bread. <laughs> what do we got here that looks pretty dinosaur-like? That's not too bad. Actually, that looks really, really picklish. Okay, it's kind of like a dinosaur with a comb over. That looks pretty classically scaled. Actually, it looks more like a friggin' alligator. Actually, it looks more like a like an alligator pair of boots or something. We're gonna go with this. Looks pretty legit. It's time for Gray's favorite part of this. Pick the limb that won't give him nightmares for the next three months. Uh, let's see. I think we're gonna go for like a Tyrannosaurus Rex, Velociraptor, you know, like the dinosaur that stands on the two legs. I'm sure there's a scientific term for a dinosaur that walks on two legs. Theropods. It's like something that's that's less obvious than like a, a bipedal dinosaur, like something cool, like a two-legosaurus Achilles or something. These could absolutely be T-Rex limbs. I can already tell. We're gonna have to mess with them a little bit here. All right, the T-Rex doesn't get too many supplements. That's like as big as his arms get. All right now, where's like a good vicious clawed hand? I want more claws than that. More. That's not anywhere where I want. No, more. Crap. It doesn't really exist. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. All right, we need some kick-ass dinosaur legs. That is not... I mean... <laughs> I guess he's in a prime position to get his ass kicked, but that's not- we want cool. We're looking for awesome. That is not it. Not gonna work. Okay, this could be alright. Congratulations, you're hired. Let's get those supplements on. Oh, don't you worry, our dinosaur's throwing down protein bars and shakes and all that stuff. Optimizes the creature's digestive system. Negative for herbivores, positive for carnivory. Yeah. Alright, he's gotta be a little bit slumped, right? Because the tail's gonna level, level him out. Maybe even put him a little bit more forward. Right like that, yeah. Chest width. Buff. Right, I may have, I may have went too far. Now it kind of looks like he's wearing a football pads or something. What happens if you make him, like, violently obese? I don't think that the game is meant to support stomach heights like this. Because it just, it, all it looks is like our little dinosaur's abdomen is putty and you're just peeling it apart. This is what happens when you don't feed your dinosaur a friggin' sandwich. Oh, with an enhanced hip height, you can give your dinosaur a giant ass. Um, let's go ahead and kind of chill that out a little bit. Maybe like right about there. All right, we got to give him a kick-ass neck. Doesn't have to be too long. All right, now it just looks like a pipe cleaner with like a like a grape at the end or something. Okay, this head actually looks pretty freaking cool. Look at the teeth on this thing too. Uh, this one could work as well. That the mouth from the predator? Kind of looks like the mouth from the predator. Do it! Come on, kill me, I'm here! Y'all seen the predator, right? All right, it's between this and the other one. This one looks more like dinosaur ish but maybe I'll use the other one as well. Yeah, this head's amazing. We're using it. Why is his tail penduluming straight through his hip bone? I clicked on tail curvature, and I think we may have gone into an inappropriate place here. What the hell is this? It just looks like a boomerang that stabbed him in the spine. I didn't know this would happen. Hey, that is some really, really good flexibility. Aggression. Yes. Cowardice. No. Amorousness. <laughs> yes. 
There you go. There's our dinosaur so far. Looks pretty freaking legit. All right, just gotta give him a name, export him, and we're set to go. Oh my god. The very first Natty Iceums have been born, and they are absolutely awful. It kind of looks like a carnivorous sheep, but with no wool. That may be even better than a dinosaur. Now this over here is getting there. It's got the clawed back legs. It just needs to get to the gym a lot more. Y'all know what we gotta do here. We gotta move time along a little bit. Oh my God, what is this? Never mind. I don't have to worry about it because it's dead. Actually, I'm gonna bring it back because this strange hovercraft beast is somewhat cool. Okay, the generations are going by and we're really getting somewhere now. Look at this thing. It's got the teeth, the head, it's forgotten how to grow limbs, all right? But you know, everything, whatever, came from the sea maybe or something. So this is where it all begins. It is a strict carnivore. It's cold blooded with ultra smooth skin. It's an insomniac and it's aggressive. <laughs> Makes sense. This is where all the rest of my friggin' traits went. Look, we just missed out on the head, but this one's got like sort of underdeveloped frog eyes instead. But the legs are getting there. Just gotta get those calf workouts in. Oh, wow. Um, I don't know if these are supposed to be antenna or it's eyeballs. Oh, hell yes. This looks pretty legit. He's missing his back legs, but he's just using his tail as a third leg. That sort of looks like a sand shark. Come with me as we take a trek through all of our slowly altering creatures. You can see as time goes on, their heads begin to turn into strange, freakish tumors. But that's important, because eventually, they're gonna have to sprout big ass teeth. Because that's what we've put in their new genetic code. You gotta remember, all these things were originally like vegan potato monsters. And we're turning them into vicious dinosaur carnivores. Wow, they pop out kids really fast. And this guy's dancing a jig over here. Look at him! He's really bebopping from side to side. Looks like everyone's pretty happy so far. Probably because no one's dining on anyone else's guts quite yet. All right, a couple of these creatures have kind of come down by the water. So I'm gonna see what happens when we start splicing dinosaur genes over here. This is what you- hold on. <laughs> it, uh, is there a body or is it just a horny carnivore shark head? That's all it is. There's no body. It's just a floating shark head, I think. Oh no, there is a body. It's just awful. Oh, you gotta, you gotta make this happen. I don't know who you're planning to eat, but you need to find someone quick. Oh, it tried to climb this hill, but it was really tiring. So now it's just on its side sleeping. Oh, here's one on two legs. We finally got one on two legs. What are you doing? You're just sitting up in the cold. I guess he really doesn't care. Oh, damn. Putting them over here by the water was a great idea. Look at the stuff we're getting. What is this? All right, we're at like, we're at like 80% of what we made. It kind of reminds me of a puppy, but like a puppy that instead of wanting to fetch, wants to rip your esophagus out and eat it as sustenance. A day in the life of a dinosaur from the Book of the Dead. This thing's neck can rotate 180 degrees and it does it a lot to look at me. It's somewhat unsettling. All right, so this is what we got so far. We got the carnivore, scaled, it's cold-blooded, it's still pathetic in its health. What the hell does it take to get a dinosaur to eat its friggin' vegetables? Probably a lot, because it's carnivorous. Then it needs to start sucking on bone marrow or something, I don't know, it needs to get nutrients somehow. How you like this face right here? <laughs> We've got a hungry carnivore. Right next to, are they both carnivores? Cause this thing just looks like an oversized mouse. And this looks like a legit carnivore. So this is what we got species wise so far. I gotta, oh. I specifically didn't pick these legs for a reason. This is basically our guy right here. I mean, that's pretty much all the traits that we made. That is, that is not the traits that we made. That's about half of the traits. Look at this guy. He's got the buff torso and everything. You know what? I like the arms that they gave him better than our arms. I don't know how I feel about this one. It kind of looks like a dinosaur that had its arms amputated. Got the ultra angry alligator with 
really, really bad knees. Got the Kiss My Assosaurus. This creature over here is practicing its diamond push-ups. And this is basically just a limp squash with a neck. Damn. This guy just grew. He's pretty big, man. I don't think he really goes anywhere. I think he just kind of sits in one place, and if anything pisses him off enough, he slays it. Because it kind of just looks like he sits in one spot and doesn't... Oh, never mind. He found something that interests him. Time to go whip some ass. Does this thing have to sleep with its legs quite so spread? Finally, it moved him back around. Man, dinosaurs was great. As a suggestion, we're getting some wild-ass creatures over here. Is that just a giant nose on top of a T-Rex body? It looks like a big nose on a T-Rex body. And now it's like a poodle. I don't know how we went from dinosaur to poodle, but that's evolution for you. So someone once asked, what would win? Something like this or Bruno Mars? Let's take a look. I'm bringing you over to the nursery. You're gonna be force-fed to be kept alive. All right, we just got a gene splice in Bruno Mars over here. Okay, a member of the Bruno Mars clan has been formed. It just looks like a pig head with six legs, but I don't know, maybe it's tougher than it looks. Okay, we're gonna put it up against this thing here. It looks pretty vicious and dinosaur-y. All right, I brought in another Bruno Mars. The other one insta-died. Well... Okay, get in there. You know you gotta fight for our amusement. Okay, sleeping dinosaur-esque thing. You're surrounded by Bruno Marses. How are you gonna freaking handle this? What are you gonna do? You're gonna grow up and then you're gonna die old and alone. So I've run into another interesting problem with our dinosaurs. They only seem to like each other's flesh. For some reason, they just won't eat the friggin' Bruno Marses. I don't get why. The Bruno Marses were bred to be survivors, to never give up, to be able to exist in any climate. But these dinosaurs, it's like the Ice Age over and over again. Well, after a whole bunch of generations, let's see what we ended up with. Okay. Bruno Mars, Bruno Mars, yeah. Okay, more looks like an armadillo than a dinosaur, but we're getting somewhere. Oh, damn. It's like a, it's like a tiger shark mixed with like a real tiger. I don't know what this is. It looks like a golden piece of crap. This looks like an animal. This doesn't. Oh, okay. That is an, an that is a creature that won't live very long. <laughs> The more satanic these things look, the less they can survive. Oh, there's the carnivorous Fido. Carnivorous Fido with only four legs. Carnivorous Fido with what looks like one leg and a tail. And that's gonna be it. All right, you know what? We had some pretty good looking dinosaurs. I think we got somewhere. We evolved the dinosaurs. I don't know if this teaches us the history of the dinosaurs, which are apparently too lazy to do damn near anything but kill each other. You wanna see me try to evolve something else? You know it's gonna come out and just be a drunken, sad, drugged up version of whatever you ask for. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Species. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.